Hi, I'm Michael, and this is What's Up With Sumo. It's been a long time since I made one of these videos. Uh, I was told today I, I was having a good hair day, so I thought, I guess it's as good a time as any to, uh, to make a new video. So, here we go. What did I want to tell you this week? We have um, new graphs on the KPI dashboard. Let me show these to you. Um, well, this first one here is not new. That's old because uh, it's a little bit more complicated. It's got two Y axes or something. Anyway, we don't have that feature yet, but the other ones are all new. Um, so um, one of the things I love is how it changes scale. You can just squish this. This is uh, like a lot of fun. You can sit here and do this all day. Um, anyway, check out these graphs. Um, if you notice any problems uh, with them or any issues, let Kadir know or file a bug. Um, what else? Oh, um, also this week, um, Brom will be, he's working on some mock-ups of um, product and topic pages um, for our new information architecture, topic, subtopic, hierarchy that, um, that we're working on. Um, so, and then I will be putting articles into topics and subtopics later this week. What does that mean? Let me uh, show you, let me explain. So right now, as an example, on this page here, this topic, learn the basics, get started. This is with the, the Firefox desktop browser. There's a jillion articles listed here. And it's kind of overwhelming uh, for somebody. So we have this feature, refine and focus, where you can pick like sort of a subtopic. It's not really a subtopic, but here to narrow it down, in this case, like to seven articles. That's a much uh, more manageable list. Um, we did some research and we found that um, this refine and focus feature is not really working the way we wanted or hoped it would work. So um, what we really need to do is we're gonna put articles in only one place. Right now they're in three, four, five, some of them six different places. So there's, in the information architecture, there is a duplicate listing of articles, which makes the listing of articles really long. And what we found um, is that users don't mind if, in fact, it works better if there's really only one path um, and if they go down a path and they're like, oh, the article I want is not here, they can easily back up and go down a different path when browsing to find the article. So we're gonna, that's what we're doing. And what that will do is take this list from this big giant list here. Uh, we won't have this uh, refine and focus thing here on desktop version of the website. But instead of having a giant, giant list like here, we'll pare this down to like something less than 20, like 15 articles. But it'll, it'll be some articles and some things will be subtopics where you'll click on and then see another listing of five more articles or you know eight more articles or something. I'm not sure how that will look. That's what Brahm's working on uh, this week, the design of all that. And I'll be, like I said, putting articles in only one place uh, this week. So that's kind of going on behind the scenes. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show you about was, uh, I wanted to show you was this documentation status board, um, which is linked from the, um, all the knowledge base documentation, but it's one place to put all the different documentation projects so you know what's being worked on right now. So there is a calendar here of uh, Firefox releases and the different um, document cycles. So here we are today. We're gonna start working on Firefox 22 documents tomorrow. Um, so we'll have a section here, we'll link to what's being updated for Firefox 22 and who's working on it. You can see here are the things that were done for Firefox 21. These things are now marked ready for localization. Firefox OS, there are new articles being made ready for localization every week. There's a schedule right here, you follow this link. And as always, our, our always to-do list of, of things that we notice that need to be improved with articles, that's the, the needs changes list, and that's linked from here. 
Um, that's it. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching.